Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Here's a quick look at the top stories we're following tonight. A Flint rapper already accused in a murder for hire plot now faces charges in two murders. Clifton Terry III, aka Cliff Mack, is accused of killing two people in Burton in 2020. He faces a slew of charges, including first degree murder. Terry is also accused of paying a man $10,000 to kill a Sterling Heights woman who was shot multiple times but survived. Several area members of law enforcement were honored for their roles in the community. The Saginaw Exchange Club held its annual Law Enforcement Officer of the Year Awards today. Awards were presented to personnel representing Saginaw, Saginaw Township, the FBI, and more. Honorees were treated to a luncheon. And in addition to law enforcement, the Exchange Club also recognizes firefighters for their work in the community. You can celebrate spring with a number of outdoor events at Dow Gardens. It's hosting a spring stroll this Friday where you can enjoy the flowering trees and live music. Registration is required for that one. And starting on May 15th, Dow Gardens is celebrating children showcasing 24 bronze sculptures that tell stories of adventure and creativity. Then on May 19th, learn how the property looked when it was the private residence of the Dow family during a guided tour. Dow Gardens is currently open Tuesday through Sunday from 9 until 8 p.m. And now here's Chris with your forecast. Meg, we've got some showers passing through tonight, but we're finally on the tail end of this stubborn system. We should eventually see things dry out by tomorrow afternoon and evening. It appears the showers that are moving through tonight, no different from the last couple of days. For the most part, they're on the lighter nuisance type side. And then once we get into tomorrow, we should finally see them come to an end. You can clearly see that the low has made progress off to the east. It's still spinning around the Great Lakes, but a little bit farther east than yesterday. And as we go through tonight, the coverage of showers should drop off. They won't end entirely. I think the thumb will stand the best chance of keeping this going into tomorrow, but should eventually see those come to an end by the afternoon. Skies will not be as quick to clear. I think clouds will remain stubborn through tomorrow and maybe even into Thursday morning. Our feels like temperatures are in the 20s and 30s tonight. So if you have anywhere to go this evening, I would plan on it still being a chilly evening and temperatures only expected to fall to the 30s tonight, perhaps a little bit warmer than last night and tomorrow afternoon should be a lot warmer as our highs go back into the 50s. Long term, May 8th through May 12th, looking to be a better chance of uh, above average temperatures this time around. So our pattern might finally be changing. Your seven day forecast also shows warmer temperatures. Temperatures will be back near 70 by Sunday, even warmer early next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.